Name is William Dawes. It was the very early morning on April 18, 1775, when I was given the order to ride from Boston, Massachusetts to Lexington when night fell. My mission was to warn John Hancock and Samuel Adams that they were in danger of arrest. I took the land route out of Boston through the Boston Neck. I left incidentally just before military sealed off the town. Shortly after, Revere and I arrived at the Hancock Clark House in Lexington about the same time, shortly after midnight. After warning Adams and Hancock to leave, Revere and I chose to proceed to Concord in case that was the British column's goal. I noticed two men had followed me. I rode to the yard of the house shouting, I lured the officers here. They feared they were being ambushed and ran away. I helped to do my part during Lexington and the Concord War. My name is General Howe. I had planned to overrun the Americans' position by a massive frontal assault. I led my troops towards Breed's Hill on June 17th. I led my troops then south. The war did many things to me emotionally. Marching up the hill, I grew weary. I was determined to fight, but battles were always breathtaking. Guns were zooming past me. Although I was not seriously injured, I was becoming less and less confident. My name is General George Washington. I led my main troops toward northwest of Trenton. Sullivan marched around this town and attacked from the south. I gave orders from the remaining troops to the northeast, cutting off the Hessians' retreat. Many of my men left traces of blood in the snow. My plan was to cross the Delaware at three points with a force commanded by Lieutenant Colonel Caldwalder with the Rhode Island Regiment, some Pennsylvanians, Delaware militia, and two guns, a second force under Brigadier E. Wing of militia, and the third commanded by myself, which would cross the river above Trenton and attack the Hessian garrison in the town. I had as my subordinates Major Generals Nathaniel Green and John Sullivan. When I, George Washington, read The American Crisis by Thomas Paine, it not only gave our troops the moral support, but it gave them the effort to know that they were fighting and risking their lives for a reason. The if fighting for our independence is what we needed to do to make things right, then that's what it's going to be. We were willing to fight and risk everything just to know we're risking our independence and we're ready to fight. My name is General Burgoyne. The strong reinforcements were to be sent to Canada of British and Burnswick regiments of foot and artillery. I was directed to take the best regiments down Lake Champlain, capture Fort Ticonderoga, advance to the Hudson River, and progress towards the south. I awaited news of Clinton's advance until October 17, 77. When I was forced to sign the convection by which his troops surrendered to Major General Horatio Gates, who had by then between 18,000 and 20,000 men, when we surrendered, the feeling was kind of disappointing and let down, but we had to do. My name is Baron Frederick von Steuben. Because of the suffering endured at Valley Forge by the hungry, poorly clothed, and badly housed troops, 2,500 of whom died during the harsh winters, I drilled the soldiers regularly and improved their discipline. Although I was only a captain, I was still a superb drill master. Although the troops were good individual fighters, the Americans' ignorance of the elementary principles of drilling or maneuvering often put them at a fast disadvantage against their well-trained enemy. I set out to change all of this, and incidentally kept the men well occupied during the Valley Forge winter. My name is Nathaniel Green. I had sufficient promises and reports of help on the way to recross the river. The main army and I crossed the Dan River into North Carolina on the 22nd. I then pursued 
Cornwallis and gave battle on March 15, 1781, at the Battle of Guilford Courthouse in North Carolina. On ground, I had myself chosen. I was defeated, but inflicted a great loss of men to Cornwallis. Three days after this battle, Cornwallis withdrew toward Wilmington, North Carolina. I was very surprised, but happy. My name is Jones. After three hours of maneuvering, the Bonhomme Richard ran the Serapis, and I tied the two ships together. They poured deadly cannon fire into each other for two hours. When the British captain, Richard Pearson, asked if the Americans were ready to surrender, I roared back, I have not yet begun to fight. An American grenade then exploded below the decks of the Serapis, and it was the British who surrendered. The Bonhomme Richard was damaged beyond repair, so I transferred his flag to the Serapis, bringing it and the Countess of Scarborough to Holland as prizes. My courage and resourcefulness in this fight brought me international recognition. My name is Charles Cornwallis. On August 16, 1780, at Camden, South Carolina, I routed the army of Horatio Gates. I boldly pursued the Americans, now commanded by Nathaniel Green, but Patriot victories at Kings Mountain and Calpins sapped his reserves so that I marched into the coast and entrenched at Yorktown, Virginia. Surrounded by a superior force of French and American troops, I surrendered on October 19, 1781, virtually ending the war, leaving victory upon the U.S.